Hey guys, it's the Soul Cloth Unity Dance of this Monster Legends Guides video. Wait, no. Hey guys, it's the Soul Cloth Unity Dance of this Monster Analysis video. We are going to be going over Queen Thalassa, and I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get her out of her current faction, Coliseum. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Queen Thalassa is going to be a denier, so she will be able to stop the enemies from attacking and from doing basically anything. And her traits are a tough area. Bleh. And her traits are tough area, super tuned, and team freeze immunity. And then her relics are going to be staff and trap. So her traits are not super duper good, but her relics are pretty good. Now let's go on down to her pros and cons. Her pros are can remove all types of control immunities effects, which are very very good. So it is amazing that you can remove those, since of course she is a controller. So she will be putting control effects on the enemy, so being able to remove the immunities is of course great. She has an AoE Mega Freeze with control immunity and removal before denial, which is an amazing move. She also has two extra turn skills, so she can reduce her cooldowns faster, which is really good. And she has Abyssal Waves, which bypasses dodge area. She's got good Relic Slots, and she's got Spamble Freeze and AoE Freeze at one cooldown. And then her cons are bad in Situational Trait, which is very true. Her trait is just kind of bad. And it's saying that her own Super Tune skill has no way of activating, which is true. But it is AoE, so it could help your teammates, depending on what monsters you are using on your team. And then we also have the bottom of the abyss, which is probably her best move right here. Which ha has an insane 78 stamina cost with 4 cooldowns, which is just crazy. But it is a really good move. And of course she does have those extra turn moves to help reduce that cooldown. And then vulnerable to freeze and control immunity traits, which is true, but then again you can remove them. And she is weak to anticipation. So yeah, and then we go on down to her recommended moves right here. We have Abyssal Waves, which is a Mega Freeze with an AoE Freeze. And the Mega Freeze is single target. And then she also has a Remove Control Immunities with an extra turn and a Freeze. Which is a really good move for her. And she also has a Stamina Regen with Freeze Hater and Self Extra Turn, which is really good. She has a crowd team precision with a freeze hater. And then she has her best move right here, which is remove control immunities and a mega freeze with AoE, which is great. So yeah, overall the moveset is just really, really good. Especially this last move right here. But even this move right here, the extra turn with removal control immunities is really good. And that can, of course, help with this move so that you can Mega Freeze the enemy right after you remove their control immunities. So yeah, overall, really, really good monster. She's a very good controller, very good denier. And definitely worth getting. So yeah, go ahead and try to get her out of her current faction, Coliseum, and use her on your team. Tell me what you guys think about her, and I'll see you in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.